We put bricks in the. Uh, oh god, oh, terraforming. Please don't be chicken game. Chicken game! <laughs> Please don't be chicken game. Give me amazed. Oh, oh okay, mad specters. Fucking hell. So Ryan was trying to build mad specters, I think last night or something, and then I like ran up the stairs after like having dinner, and I like was like, Ryan, you forgot Twin Twisters a card. And he was like, oh, <laughs> maybe we should play this deck. <laughs> that toad's yeah, not that bad. A... Toad's really good. Toad's yeah, Toad's good. I'm against Just Jess and this one guy. We'll play after this game. Perfect. Can that um? Can that set the uh, build speed? <laughs> So oh, it's a Magister, Majesty's Pegasus, it's called. It's not Majesty's Pegasus, it's called. Ah. Uh, crafted that's like the, honestly, like, that's probably like the worst thing about the deck, is the fact that the field spell doesn't search, uh, sorry, can't be searched by Crow. Right. Denko is also a card. Isn't the, uh, that cat supposed to be really bad? It's really it slow, but I mean, well. like... It's yeah, you have to play it. Like if you're playing pure magic specters. Like there's no other no, magic specter monsters. Oh my god. Okay. But he tributed the. the um... Oh, I just lost connection. Get to fuck. Haha. -ha. He tributed for the field <laughs> spell to summon. Um, Nekitoma. The cat. Yeah. Surely summoning the. Um, the raccoon. The raccoon. Yeah, but the thing oh. is, the raccoon's tiny, so you can just attack over it and then like do your thing. Whereas the Nekomata, oh. like, you can't really. Like just normal anything bigger than eighteen hundred. So I guess if he had a pendulum spell, he would have done that because then he could have special summon Kieran. Yeah, that's pretty. Much. Well, you can't pendulum summon Kieran in pure magic specters. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's why Kieran is best in magicians, not magic specters. Magic specters yeah. are all no two and five skills. I um only briefly played during just before Lil. I was playing the Magic Spectres with Magicians. Uh, yeah, like that's, that's when they were Karen at their best. Like, Kieran was the best card ever. It, the deck has a lot of issues, like all the monsters are really small, They're it's a back row deck, and you know, back row decks always have their inherent problems. Um, they've got mix matched levels for some reason, uh, they're all really tiny so it means that um, they can be like ran over. Like, there's, there's just way too many right. things to fix. That's actually really funny, sad. like, kaiju over the Magic Spectre. Like, <laughs> turn off all the traps. Yeah, he's playing like a proper kaiju engine, like, he even has the spell and everything. Yeah, he uh, must be playing more than three kaijus, because he's not running... Because that one's not the water one. Um, he can... I would assume he's playing, he can like... play, like, three or four kaijus, um... He needs to play the a non-water one because he needs one to special to his side that's bigger when you use the spell. Yeah. Um, the spell's good. Like people were considering it in Monarchs before the quantum stuff um, as well. So um, you could like turn one. I'm pretty sure the ruling is because it's special, you can activate it to an empty field. So you can just like special two kaijus and then storm forth theirs, or you can Zaborg the big light dude for ten mils from their extra deck. And stuff. Right. That's cool. That's that's cool. You can pop the spell with that Kiraz. Using, search. For that you're using the Zaborg right to destroy itself, I believe. Yeah. Was yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm, um I'm learning the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this format just sucks, like I mean, there's there's a lot of room for innovation in this format, which is cool. <clears throat> but it feels like everything just sucks. I Welcome mean, that's good, like, I like that everything sucks, it means that, you know, we might see some other deck do something. It's like, basically those sort of formats allow for decks like Hat to do good. Yeah, that, that was that was a bad, like, the, I like Nationals, uh, 2014 Nationals, because there were lots of cool decks, like you had, like, Drillers and Infernity and Gyrgia and Mermail and Raccoons, obviously. Bujen! Bujin as well. Um, I swear Bujin, God, like, like, all the same surely Bujin thing. was the most top deck of that format. Bujin sucked. They did you suck, but every deck sucked. The best deck, the best deck in, that, uh, in that tournament was Dragons. Yeah, so I said Dragons. Rulers. Oh, he did say something as well, yeah. Oh, Dragons were insane. Um, people overlooked them quite a lot. And then, um, it was so the thing is, Hat came out, the next format, the next set, like just after Nationals. 
and Hat was really really good in that format, which is bad because it shouldn't ever be good. Hat yeah. should never ever be a deck. What's wrong with it? It's it relies the on trap worst. Cards. It's the worst deck I think I've ever seen. Bushing and Hat are like up there. I mean, I like that, that that it was a bad deck, and yet it was the best deck of its time. You know, like, would you prefer it? Like, where we at? Where we were at? Like, for the past like two yeah. weeks. Oh, Draco right as well. Sylvan's was better, but like, just people didn't realize that. Oh, Hoban realized Sil- it. So, Sil- but it was better. Even like Light Swan Rulers were probably better than um at that format. Light Swan Rulers were nuts, Sil- man. <laughs> See if you had Sylvans, you could um, you could literally just set Commissioner against Hat, and they took like four turns to out it. <laughs> they couldn't out the defender. Like, the, wait, what was that? The Mellow set five. Oh, Sylvans! Oh, Commissioner. You set the two K guy, and they, they they couldn't play for like a few turns. Ah, you set the two K guy, and you excavate five and trigger like four effects. It's broken. <laughs> broken. <laughs> it was amazing yeah, for that it's... format. Yeah, one soul charge, like Sylvans are probably still best out of this format. Like this format. Right, I man. tried. I tried. <laughs> to be I fair. Had, like, a lot of, I had a lot of draw power, but I still wasn't drawing any rec- recursion cards. Like fertilizer is still really good. No, yeah, no, I was running like three fertilizers, a soul charge and a symbol of heritage. And, oh like, Viathan Dragon. <laughs> That's quality. <laughs> interesting. And I still was I still just wasn't drawing like any recursion cards with like three upstarts and three Sylvan charities. <laughs> and even chicken yeah. game and stuff. I love I think it's a three K beat stick. Was it three K? Yeah, two, Dweller Boost. Oh yeah, it's three K right now. Fuck. Here. Oh Dweller shit, yeah. Here, Mermans have five so many. Turn. What? It comes three five next turn. Yeah, but it can't attack directly if it has no materials. Oh no. <laughs> Sylvans can do some well, dumb two card stuff with the Millennium Pack drops. Left arm offering is not. You know about this stuff? Left arm's oh, like search. It, it's some ridiculous cost, and then you like search a spell card in your deck. Oh, this is a Sandy combo, yeah. Let me. Like, quick, like, like, a glit. It's a Sandy combo. <laughs> Pen four. Uh oh. So Duncan was playing around with the Raid Raptor Towers monster yesterday, and apparently magicians make it really easily. Really? He was like taking the Raid Raptor stuff, wasn't he? He was taking like um. Like, I wouldn't say taking like all, all you need to do is play like you don't even need to play any Raid Raptors. I'm sure you just like you play like six rank up cards. That's a lot of bad cards. No, no, you need them. You need the Raid Raptor. Like the, I don't even know what you do. I'm, I'm pretending I know. I'm pretending um, I know. The build is The Terrors is good. The, the Terrors is really good. Because um, it actually has an effect, like a decent effect as well. Lone like, fire into, your opponent. Lone fire into Lone fire into Lone fire. Left arm offering, banish the rest of your hand, search soul charge. That sounds so bad. No, no, it's, it's, it's actually, it's not bad. Like, banish left arm your offering hand. is if you have two or more cards in your hand, other than this card. Banish your entire hand, add one spell card from deck to hand. Just any spell card. There's going to be some ridiculous combos. Uh, it's, it's, it's worded really well, so like, you can't set spell traps to turn your active. So you can't set your hand and then, like, do it. You need to have two, you need to have that and two others in hand as well. So you can't just, like... I mean, if you soul charge three lone fires in Sylvan's, like, what do you even make really this format? Like, Felgrand. Yeah, Felgrand, like the, the big like spell negator or Lancelot or something. Felgrand Draco. Oh. Surely that would be better than like a sort of like generic plant deck where like you would go lone fire, lone fire, lone fire, lone fire dandelion. Yeah, surely you like, make quasar like double stuff, quasar yeah. or something. There's a really interesting quasar deck on Julius Grounds. And it was like a bunch of these two combos with Goyle Defender to make Quasar, like Quasar Emptiness or Quasar Kaiser Coliseum. It seemed quite funny. Can make Trish oh, wow. as well. So, um, did you say you were voted worst moderator on Doris Grounds? Was I? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I got made a moderator of the Mafia Forum like a year ago, 
and literally have not played Mafia in a year. So, <laughs> literally forgot See, I love the Mafia. all about the section. Isn't that that like shitty game Facebook game? game? Yeah. I used to play Mafia a lot on uh, like a wrestling forum, and it was really, really fun, but I just don't have time to follow it as much anymore. Like You have to kind of be relatively active. Um, left arm offering in yeah, Infernoids is, is much fun. better. I'm not sure how left arm offering is good in Infernoids because you banish your Infernoids to search reasoning. And then, like, See, a lot of people no, don't I like know. me because they don't like me. Uh, yeah, Mafia is, Mafia is fun. You should try it, ads. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> Even Before if you get used to play on, like, banned, did I... you still get unbanned. Huh? Get from unbanned. what? From Mafia. You get banned, banned from Mafia? I was permanently banned and then I got unbanned recently. <laughs> banned from were Mafia? Complaining. What did you do? Well, I ruined a couple of games and Malcolm hated <laughs> me so he got me, ba he got me permanently banned. And, um... <laughs> Then, recently they made a post about how no one's playing Mafia, and I said, unban me, this will be the, um, this will make it so that you'll get more active members. And then I, they unban me and I've never played since. <laughs> I Raid just want to get unbanned. Here, do you want to hear a Sandy combo? Raid Raptors, Towers, and Magicians is crazy. You Pendulum Armageddon Knight, send Mimicry Lanius, search Last Strix. End with Raid Raptor... Towers and Rafflesia. That sounds. That seems quite good. <laughs> right, surely it's a more card combo than that. Yeah, like, it surely can't be that easy. I read the the Raid Raptors briefly. They're all cool. Like, they all do cool stuff. Um, whether or not it's like cool enough, I don't know. Whether or not they're it's cool. Like a lure. With controllers and like the kaiju monster as targets. Playing a lure for that controller. <laughs> <laughs> that kaiju. <laughs> oh wow, he's playing search. multiple copies. Yeah, he's playing a lot of kaijus. Well, I guess like. like he's just playing two like, Radiant, like three games here or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Megalo Ditch Dragoons and. Marksman was that? Infantry? Infantry, okay. So infantry like well I was gonna say Pops Pegasus or Pops Can you think so DK? Search net. I mean, Dragons I know it's gets not like good. Diva. I know it's not good okay, nowadays, Dragons gets like back in your day. When you would go Megalo double dragoons, that was the good feeling. That was a good feeling. Oh <laughs> god. Ooh. You'd like end phase, like, oh. That's important. You'd end phase lend into like a uh, pike, ditch gunned, add something, special turge, ditch gun, or like ditch fucking dragoons, add something from the grave, and then like make fucking multiple rank fours and just go mega plus. End so. phase uh, mermels was some of the scariest shit ever. Even during when I started playing, like, with the shitty um, post. Uh, ruler format thing. It would, was like, it the Hoban one? Yeah, I think it was like the 36 the one with no, card. The one, one with no infantry. Oh, did he play no infantry? He didn't play any infantry. So. Did I play like one infantry? No, nah, he didn't play I any. play like one infantry or something. His reasoning was that it takes cards away from your opponent, which you don't want to do. You're in a combo that you want yeah, to you give want yourself to... more cards. Yeah. It's like triple reckless grades. Oh yeah, that was... The reckless greed days. But I remember slower oh, right then. You could I played in Berlin with that and, and um, I had to try to explain this to someone that no. when I send Atlantean Marksman with him uh, with Undyne, I get to destroy his gear, gear armor. He didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, th th those were the days. Armor was funny. I had to explain to so many people at Nats um, that the Fabled Unicorn running for an armor with the same cards in hand means that they don't get an armor effect and they can't activate anything. 
as you need to do at your nationals, you know, explain how Unicore works. Not Necros of Unicore. Fabled Unicore. I played Matthew Mills like round four, and we're both 3 0. You beat Matthew? He sets like. Yeah. Wow, well in. That's the one where it's the same amount of cards in hand, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same amount of cards in hand. So it's terrible. So, like. No, it's not terrible, it's really good. Your opponent Didn't just you has to. Cards like wind blast and stuff, so that you could constantly. Have yeah, the same you can play like wind blast and hand traps like Maxine stuff, and you can chain them and then like negate everything. I like made the unicorn like run over like two things, like two of his armors. Um, he like clears the unicorn and I make armadies, and like run over another one. He's just like fucking like shuffling his hand like in frustration. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. He was the guy yeah, that I... went to. Um, whoa! Whoa! Are you guys like, seeing this? <gasps> oh my god! Are you guys oh, seeing shit. this? Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he did really well at. Um, what event was it? He did really well at? Yeah, he did well at Berlin when he was playing five, minimum rarity mm -hmm. five mists. Apart from he couldn't find any common upstart, so he had to play his super ones. Aww, oh, deadums. Oh my. First world problem. He played him. Um, he... He also, um, he did really well with Heroes at like some event. Was that YCS? Um, was he, it Euros? He went, he topped, um, he topped Euros with it and he topped Nationals with it. Yeah, it was Nationals with Heroes and then it was like Euros, he was like, he was like 9-0 or something at one point. Yeah, he was XO. Oh, nuts. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> which was the, uh, so which was the fir your first National, Ryan? Uh, 2014. Yeah. Is that your first? I played it too. Yeah. It's my wow. first like, big event. Like a, anything bigger than a regional. Okay, we're at 28 followers now. This is cool. Uh, viewers, sorry. So if you've just joined us, we're. Uh, this is a match from round two <laughs> of the DM tournament that we've got uh, happening in the UK, chilling and shit. So we have Mermels against Mad Spectres. Um, who won game one? Is this game two? Uh, I think Mermel won uh, game one. Mermel won game one, yeah. So it's not just Mermel, it's... Off, like, his guys. It's Mermel Kaiju. Mermel Kaiju. Yeah, so it's like... And it's not just like three Gamma Seal, like a lot of Mermel's plays. It's like a, like a bit of an engine. Like, he's playing the, the Dark Coal spell as well, so... Oh, no, the Magispector guy won game one. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Did he? The oh, Magispector's okay. of one that game Nas one. That, that Nationals was the uh, one where... I got really drunk with James Pennicott on the Friday night, and I woke up on Saturday morning, and 15 minutes before actually entering the venue, I was vomiting in my hotel room toilet, and then I dropped <laughs> from the event, and I could still talk, because one of my best friends said we would go for Nando's, and we never went for Nando's. I was very upset. <laughs> I don't understand why people get so fucked for events, like, just do it after the main event, like, what, why, why do it the night uh, before? I do because before. most you can play is suck. So like they ruin your nights out. So you go out on the Friday night because all of those people stay in for the night because they want to do well at the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that too. Like I don't know. Like I prefer to go out quite a lot because I to treat it as a holiday. So, I like, okay, but like, I mean, the holiday part is everything. the holiday part is enjoying the, the event. No, I enjoy the I event. I mean, sure. Saturday, like, you, you can get some pickups. Some stuff that makes you help play better. <laughs> How did that work out for you? Uh, <laughs> you're speaking. You're speaking. <laughs> we won't talk about that work <laughs> Was that Darby Nash? Euros, Euros was a was a mishap. Oh my god! Is that Delorean? Your face. It's a Delorean. I'm so confused. Oh, that was funny. Did did he just? So the Mermel too old? Yeah, no, the, the Magic Spectre 1, 2-0. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say, but how is there a Delorean on the field? 